Are you looking to play with your friends on Bedrock Edition, but never understood how to? Or are you a Minecraft server owner, looking to expand your Minecraft server's overall player count? Well today, I'll be teaching you how to allow Bedrock players to join your Minecraft server without a Java Minecraft account. And yes, believe it or not, this is possible. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out, and comment down below if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see from me. If you get confused at any point during this video, you can join my Discord server to receive direct assistance from me. With that out of the way, let's get started by discussing the requirements for this tutorial. You must have a Spigot Minecraft server with the ability to have specific ports opened through a firewall. If you are running your server on your own personal machine, I've attached a tutorial for port forwarding in the description, so you can successfully complete this tutorial. If you are wondering what ports to forward, make sure you forward ports 19132 and 25565. If you are running your server on a server host, you'll need to ask the support of that server host to open another additional port on your server. You can complete this tutorial without port 19132, it's just convenient to use. For server hosting, I always recommend going with the most bang for the buck server host, Cryhosting. Cryhosting is a cheap but affordable server host, offering servers for $2 a gigabyte on the fastest CPU in the world, the Ryzen 9 5950X. Make sure to visit cryhosting.net and use code HYPURITY for 20% off your server. Anyways, once you confirm that your Minecraft server can complete this tutorial, we will begin by visiting the first link in the video description, and you'll be navigated to a page that looks something like this. From here, you'll need to press on the geyser spigot jar right here, and then click on it to download the plugin. Do not forget to press save. Next, you'll need to navigate to the second link in the video description, where you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. From here, you'll need to press on the floodgate spigotjar file right here to download the plugin. Don't forget to press save. Once you have both of these plugins downloaded, you'll need to navigate to your Minecraft server's plugins folder. Then, upload the plugins. If you are on Cryhosting, you can just drag and drop the files onto the panel here and they will upload automatically. However, if you are on a different server host, you may need to connect to be on an FTP client like FileZilla to be able to upload your files. Once these two jar files have finished uploading, go back to your server console and restart your server. Once your server has restarted, navigate back to your plugins folder. From here, you'll need to enter the geyser spigot folder, and then open the file called config.yml. Once you've entered this file, you'll need to change the port section right here to the port you have allocated on your server. If you're on Cryhosting, you can press on the Network button right over here to view your current allocations. Then just copy your allocation that isn't your primary allocation, go back to your file, and then fill in the correct port. Once you've set this, you'll need to scroll down until you see Auth Type. Once you see this, you'll need to replace it with Floodgate. This is so Bedrock players will be able to connect to your Minecraft server without linking a Minecraft Java account. Whilst technically this is all the configuration you need to do, you can personalize your Bedrock server with the options shown right here. However, once you are done with all this, you'll need to save your file and then go ahead and restart your Minecraft server. Once you've restarted your server, you should see in your console that your server started geyser with your port. If you still see 19132 here and you plan on using another port, go back and repeat the last step of this video. However, if you see the port that you entered in your config.yml file here, it's time to test your server. You'll be able to join your server on any Bedrock device, including PlayStation, Xbox, Mobile, Nintendo Switch, basically anything along those lines. I'll be testing this on my phone, however you can join from any Bedrock device that I just mentioned. In order to connect, you'll need to scroll down and then press Add Server. From here, you can put whatever you'd like for the server name, so I'm just going to put High Purity. For the server address, you'll need to put your server's IP address without the port. 
So in my case, this would be 91.210.103.5. And in the port, you'll need to put the port you specified in Geyser. So in my case, this is 25572. Once this is done, just press save. After pressing save, you can attempt to join your Minecraft server. If you were successful so far, you'll be able to join your Minecraft server on your mobile device. And just to confirm that this works for both Java and Bedrock simultaneously, I'll join the server on my computer whilst on my phone. And as you can see here, I'm standing next to my Bedrock account on my Java Edition account, proving that this is indeed possible. But with this being successful, it kind of wraps up this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got lost at any point during this video or have any additional questions, make sure to join my Discord server so I can help you in every way possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.